Okay, so in this video we will uh, determine limit if the limit exists. So the question given is limit x approaches to 3 to x square. So the properties of limit is that limit does not apply on the constant constant. So here 2 is a constant, we can take this out and write down the limit now. Now one more property is that if the limit is not in um, fraction form a over b form and it's not giving you infinity then you can straight away put the limits in it so in we put the limit straight away and that gives you 3 theta 9 and this in 18 right similarly you have another problem where x approaches to minus 4 5x plus 15 according to the limits property you can split the limit into this term and into this term so limit x approaches to minus 4 5x plus now this is a constant so I told you the limit doesn't apply on the constant so you can write down the constant as a separate without the limit now again, this is a constant multiplying to the x, so we can take it out. And then you can apply the limit on the x, so that is minus 4. And that's minus 4 times 20 times 5 is minus 20, and minus 20 plus 15 gives you minus 5. Now another problem is find out the limit of this piecewise function and it is less than when x is less than 5 you have 2x and when x is either equals to 5 or greater than 5 then you use this function. To find this out limit is that we can split this into two parts to 5 from negative side and the limit x approaches to 5 from the positive side of this given function. So if we, find, if we want to find out the limit when we are approaching 5 from the negative side, so you can see that x is less than 5 means the negative side of the x-axis of the x. So we can write the limit x approaches to 5 from negative side the function that we have to use either this or this we can see that when you approach 2x 5 from negative side is this one so you have to use 2x function again 2 is a constant we take it out and x now apply the limit and then you get 10 similarly on this one you can apply the, the right hand side limit when x is 5 or greater than 5 you have this function so you can apply the limit on 20 minus 2x. 20 is a constant, so we don't apply limit on that. And then you apply limit on the second one, 2x. Again, 2 is a constant, so you can take this out. Now again, just apply the limit, minus 2 times 5. 20 minus 10, you have 10. So we can see that the limit, the right hand limit and the left hand limit are both 10. So you can say that the limit x approaches to 5 of 2x and 20 minus 2x when x is less than 5 and when x is greater than 5 is equals to 10. Now this one is exactly the same, so you have to write down the left hand limit and the right hand limit of this function. So 5 approaching approach, approaching to 5 from negative side, the function that we are using is this one, 2x squared, and then the limit of x approaches to 5 from the positive side, so that is this one, which is 2 minus x. 
two is a constant, so we take it out. And then apply the limit. So 5 square is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. Now the right hand limit, 2 is a constant, so we don't apply limit on the 2. The only limit that we apply on is on the x. Now straight away put the limit on, apply the limit, and then you can see that this is minus 3. Since the left hand limit is not equal to the right hand limit, so limit x approaches to 5 of this function for x is less than 5 and greater than or equal to 5 do not exist. Yet another question or with a similar uh, procedure we have to find out the limit from the left side. So this is the left side limit 5 minus 2x and then the limit sorry from the right side which here is 2x so we cannot apply limit on the constant we can limit apply the limit straight away I'll take the 2 out and then we can apply the limit on the x which is minus 1 so 5 minus minus plus 2 and that is 7 if we talk about this one we take the 2 out apply the limit you can see that is minus 2 so you can see that the left hand limit is not equals to the right hand limit so limit do not exist one last problem of the similar type so limit h approaches to 0 from the positive side if, sorry from the negative side we have this one which is x square and the limit x approaches to 0 from the positive side we have 0 0.5 x square now if we put the apply the limit 0 square is 0 and similarly if we apply the limit 0 0.5 times 0 square is again 0 so you can see that the left hand side and the right hand side both limit are same and they're equal then 0 0.5 x square for x less than 0 and greater than 0 the limit is 0. So if you have a, a function with which you have to find out the limit and the function is of this type then you have to look at it if you put x is 8 here this gives us 0 and if you put it here this gives us 0 by 0 form so if this is the form it means this, some simplification can be done or you have to do something that you cancel the 0 from the bottom so for that you have to do is what you have to do is simplify the problem you know that x square you can write the above as x square minus 8 square and then according to the uh, formula a my a square minus b square is equals to a plus b and a minus b so we can write this as x minus 8 and x plus 8 divided by x minus 8 so this x minus 8 will cancel this x minus 8 and then you can apply the limit on the x plus 8 which again we cannot we do not apply limit on the constant so if you apply the limit on the x only that would be x 8 plus 8 and that is 16. again if we put minus 2 minus 1 here that gives us my it gives us 3 and that is uh, plus 9 so that gives us a 0 and the down one is minus 3 and plus 3 gives us 0 so if this is the form it means there is further simplification that we can do so let's start it and see what simplification is needed uh, one simplification are needed so if we take common 3 from this one this is left of this form and if you take 3 common from this one we are left with 
this one. Now this is the quadratic equation. You can factorize it with whatever method you, you, you know or you have uh, studied. So x squared minus 3x minus 4. Uh, x squared, you can do that with x squared. We need minus 4, so I can do is minus 4x plus x uh, minus 4. Uh, the, this is the first and last um, rule, or um, you can call this um, splitting the midterm, or they call it midterm break. So I can common, take common x from here, so x minus 4, and if I take 1 from here, this is x minus 4, we have x minus 4 common, so here is left x, and here is left 1, so you can write this down now, limit x approaches to minus 1, 3 times x minus 4, x plus 1, divided by 3 times x plus 1. We could cancel 3 from here, and you can cancel this one. So the only limit that we have to apply is on x minus 4, so that is minus, f minus 1 minus 4 gives us minus 5. And now uh, let's do this final uh, exercise question. Again, uh, if we put 3 over here, this is become 0. And that gives us 9, 18, 18. And that gives us minus 21, minus 15. So we, we can, uh, in, in short, we can simplify this. So if you want to do this, uh, we want to factorize this, with the first in or midterm break, so you can say so that would be minus 30x square. And how do we get uh, minus 30 would be 10 times 3. So you can split that 2x square um, minus plus 10x minus 3x and minus 15. You can take out 2x common, so x is left, and here 5 is left. And if I take minus 3 common, x is left, and plus 5 is left, x plus 5 is common in both, so minus 3. So you can factorize it, and you can write this down by x plus 5 into, sorry, 2x plus 5, and, sorry, sorry x plus 5 and 2x minus 3, if I am not wrong. So uh, x plus 5 and 2x uh, minus 3, it means they're not cancelling each other. It means if you put 3, this would give you the limit uh, do not exist. And let's check whether the above, whether this is this form or not. So if we put 3 in here, uh, 2 times 9 plus 7 times 3 minus 15, obviously this is not going to be 0. So it's not 0 by 0 form. So it, the simplification was not needed. So you can straight away, if this is not a 0 by 0 form, you can straight away say that the limit do not exist. But if it's 0 by 0 form, you have to factorize it and do the cancellation, which in this case is not possible. So thank you very much.